Good morning and welcome to Going to Work with Gina, which is an inspiration for STEM students. STEM students, I am on my fourth day of the IT um, SET conference. And this morning, I just want to break things down for you because sometimes I believe I may be going too fast or go a little bit over your head. So I want to start by saying what my purpose is here today. So whenever we, um, before you deploy a soldier and before you launch an astronaut into space, the thing that you have to do is you have to train them, okay? And modeling and simulation um, computing systems are used to train these individuals. So I've had the privilege of serving or, or, or witnessing a senior level panel of all branches of military and NATO and the Pentagon. And what they were discussing were the educational needs that they feel that their, their soldier needs straight out of boot camp. And so modeling and sim serves as that purpose. And so um, I have a cheat sheet with me today because of course the Navy, the Army, the Air Force, the Marines, they all needed different things. So Drummond, who was from the Pentagon, said we need a proof of concepts um, through training that, comp that, that shares common data. NATO said we need to institutionalize our emerging technologies and operationalize for alliance. The Air Force stated, Patini stated, we need common standards with open architecture that has IGEL software. The Marine Corps said, Mullen, Major General Mullen stated, we need to prepare for the un unknown, forcing people to make decisions and to fail early. The Army stated that we need to see training as a service. The Navy said we need to leverage science and technology learning from our from mistakes. So most of them were talking about when you fail, you need to fail early. You need to fail early in the concept of what you are designing um, so that you can improve and so that you can basically, um, the person can actually get what they need out of that particular technology. So there are a lot of companies represented here this week that have these emerging technologies and they are basically here to showcase themselves and to show this is what our company can do for you, uh, federal government. So NASA's in that um, same arena because as we um, launch, our astronauts, we have to make sure we have the safest environment for them also. So I know of uh, two people, um, high school students. Uh, one went to the Army, was a female, and um, the young man went to the Navy. They graduated from Seminole, I think one from Seminole and one from Winter Springs last year. So I also have the um, know of someone who I went to college with, who basically was a captain in the Navy who retired from the Pentagon about four months ago. So what I'm saying is STEM students, that their, the military offers um, great careers um, in modeling and simulations and engineering, because you have to, in order to build the, the, the missile systems and the combat systems that they use, it takes various technology. So to stay STEM related, you can also look for jobs in the military as well as in industry. So this conference is about merging the federal government and industry together so we, we can both take care of each other's needs, okay? So I wanna thank you for going to work with Gina today. Um, have a marvelous day and I am enjoying myself. Bye.